Yes, 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 Nan who popped by the other day. Oh, he's doing really well, yes. Hmm? Oh, yes, Betsy Moonchild. Yeah, still be a little grumpy at times, but then can't we all? Noel Narwhal said to say hello. He's been busy under the ocean getting up to his usual mischief. Oh, oh, thank you very much, Eric Elf. What was that? No, no one needs rescuing this year. Well, that's good, I suppose. More time to get on with making sure all those toys are ready on time. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes? You'd like me to make a video to wish all of the children a happy Christmas from the Stephen Joseph Theatre? I can't think of anything I'd rather do. Well, oh, thank you. Bye now. Now, as I'm sure you all know, at the Stephen Joseph Theatre this winter, you will find the Sun Sorceress telling the story of the Snow Queen. Sun Sorceress telling a snowy tale. Well, I never. <laughs> oh, she's an excellent storyteller. I do hope you get a chance to meet her. However, today I'm going to tell you a little story. This is the story of how the elves came to be living at the North Pole with Mrs. Claus and me, which is a very long title for very little people. I'm sure I'll think of a better one, but that's for some other time. Here we go. A long time ago, so long ago that none of you will remember. I do, but I'm very old, you know. <laughs> well, all that very long time ago, there was a town by the sea. A town so small you could hold it in the palm of your hand. In that town there was a street so long you couldn't see from one end to the other. And the street was filled with love and fun, and singing, and dancing, until one day something quite unexpected happened. What I hear you cry? I'll tell you. Those tiny little people who lived in that tiny little town, on that tiny little street where you couldn't see from one end to the other, spotted something in the sky, flying over their heads. I think you've probably guessed. It was me. Well, I'm not sure what happened, but the reindeer decided that they'd had quite enough, and we crash landed on that tiny little street. All the toys went flying everywhere, broken into tiny little bits. I thought this was going to be the worst Christmas ever. Mrs. Claus and I had worked extremely hard making all these toys, and now they were all ruined, and the children wouldn't find anything under their beautiful Christmas trees. But do you know what? Those tiny little people gathered up all those broken toys, and in no time at all they'd fixed every last one of them, as good as new. I was delighted. What a fantastic community. Well, we sang and we danced until someone spotted that my sleigh had in fact squished all of their houses. <coughs> How embarrassing. They were great at making toys and mending them, but definitely not at building houses. All the singing and dancing stopped and all those tiny little people looked so very sad. Then I had a magnificent idea. My home in the North Pole is huge. I thought plenty of space for all those tiny little people. When I suggested they come and live with me, they said yes, but only if they were allowed to make all of the toys for the children. And of course I said yes. Well, we all sang and danced again in that 
tiny little town on that great long street where you couldn't see from one end to the other that was now pretty well squished. Oh, after their long rest, the reindeer were ready to go again. So we all, every one of us, climbed into the sleigh, delivered all the presents to all the children all round the world, and then went home to Mrs. Claus. She was over the moon to have all these wonderful new friends and got right onto building them lots of tiny little beds while I cooked their favorite meal, pizza and chips. And you know, from that day to this, we all still live in perfect harmony, making toys, having fun, and singing and dancing. And that, my friends, is the story of how the elves came to live at the North Pole. Magic, isn't it? Anywho, I really must go now. It's Christmas Eve, and it's busy, busy, busy. Well, it's been lovely talking to you all. Be good. Be kind. Be happy. Oh, and Merry Christmas, my friends. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho.